Hello everyone, good morning. Welcome to another studio vlog. In my update, a couple of you guys requested more studio vlogs and I feel like in the current time that we're living in, studio vlogs are probably gonna be quite well received because it's kind of like a chill out, just follow me around, you can craft with it, you know, grab a cup of tea, whatever you want to do. Um, I'm obviously looking to make like really chilled content that I can just like get out quite easily for you guys, um, for the people that are super bored or stressing or anxious or any of that kind of stuff. Um, I won't be talking about the current situation in every single video, but seeing as though this is the first one, first sort of vlog, I thought I might update you guys. Um, I've just finished my first week of working from home and it's actually going really well. I mean, I feel kind of bad, but I'm actually kind of enjoying lockdown. I'm obviously not enjoying the situation we're in. I wish we weren't in it, obviously, but I, I, I wouldn't say I'm an introvert, but I just love spending time alone. And this has just given me an opportunity to do all of the projects that I've wanted to do. As you guys saw in the last video, I started painting, which I've been wanting to do for like six months. So yeah, honestly, I'm, I'm holding up really well, but yeah. That's basically the only time I'm going to talk about it in this video and hopefully in the next video I won't even mention it unless, you know, an update needs to be said. The plan as of this morning, I've just woken up, I'm literally wearing my pyjamas which is the child. Um, so basically, this looks really weird. This is a photography um, like backdrop setup. Because I live in a studio flat, you can literally see my bed, my kitchen, my sofa, everything. So I've set up a photography background thing which has like different colours, I've got like different fabrics and um, blankets <coughs> and stuff and um, basically every time I'm on a call I put it down because it's just not cute to be seeing everything. I'm sure you can see the mess that's here because I've also had to take loads of equipment from the studio at work home with me so like my flat is just a state. Yeah so the plan for today is actually to redo the painting that I did in my last video. So this is the painting that I made in my last video as I just said I actually so that if you watch the video this isn't quite how I wanted it to turn out but it's been, been on my desk for a week since that I filmed that video and I'm not even gonna lie I kind of love it like I really really love it and I am actually giving this one away to you guys in that video so hop on over to there to see how you can win this one but I, as I said, this isn't quite how I wanted it to go and I've told myself, especially in lockdown, that I need to actually start like learning and practicing things. As I said in that video, I've been on Skillshare, I've been watching all of those videos. Um, I've also just been on YouTube watching, sorry, I can't hold my arm up, watching loads of YouTube videos and new painting, painter people that I found and I've just been having a really good time and getting really motivated to actually learn something and not just give up when it doesn't work, which I am... Um, incredibly prone to unfortunately so last night i redrew it out the way i wanted it to look or at least the way a bit closer to what i wanted and i'm gonna finish this today and i am gonna hopefully make it look better because i don't know i would just love the idea of like having these two next to each other and just be like look guys like i practiced look at the difference although again i was wasn't too happy with this one when i first did it but i absolutely love it so i love the idea of this being in someone's house or on someone's wall so again if you want to win this go check that out anyway so i am going to get some breakfast i am gonna get some air into this flat open all the windows um and then i think i'm gonna start painting so that's just the plan as of right now um and apart from that We'll just see where we'll just see where it takes us. Okay guys, so it's about two and a half hours later and I'm finally finished and I am so in love with this. This is exactly what I had in my head the first time round. 
I am so happy. Like, it's probably embarrassing how proud I am of myself for trying again. But as I said, I'm just not the type of person that tries again. I hate being bad at things. I always have to be right. So, like, to, to practice something, I hate practicing. I really genuinely do. Um, but this is it next to the original. Oh, my God, look. Oh, my God, that's literally so crazy. I'm just really, really happy with that. And it's like I learned something here. And this also is better. And I still learned something here as well. Like, I learned loads. Oh, I'm really happy. I feel kind of bad, like I said, about giving this one away now. But this is like super kawaii and then this this new one is like a mix of kawaii and real and then the next one I'm not even going to attempt which would be a real one. But yeah, I'm really really happy. And I've just realised I'm starving and I didn't eat lunch. Yeah, it's like nearly five o'clock and I forgot to eat lunch. Huh, okay, well... <coughs> That sums it up, doesn't it? I'm an artist, completely forgot to eat. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm really, really happy. And I think that's all I'm going to say today because I've just realised how late it is. One week later. So, um, it's like a week later. <sighs> Sunday's vlog did not go well. I spent the entire day trying to figure out that editing that video. Turns out the file was corrupted, blah, 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 blah. I edit the whole video for like two and a half hours. I close it down to eat or have lunch or whatever it was. I then reopen it and everything is gone. For the last two and a half hours, everything had been deleted. I was unhappy to say the least. Um, so the footage was just like a tiny bit of footage of me editing and then a, a bit of footage of me being really, really angry. So I was like, oh my God, this vlog, is, you know what? I'm just gonna scrap it. But then I was like, I told myself this year that I would spend less time worrying if a video flowed or, or you know, just be less hard on myself. Cause the amount of vlogs I've made in my life that have never gone up because the second part didn't go well or it didn't go to plan or whatever it is. And I'm like, but people always ask for studio vlogs. Granted, there isn't gonna be much clay in this video. And considering I spent like 12 hours editing the last video and it's not even at 500 views. No one wants to see painting. I mean, no one watches these videos anymore, but painting is clearly not important. So I was like, what's the point? Like, no one wants to even see the first part of this video because I'm painting. But I'm like, you know what? Screw it. Gives me something to do in quarantine. And again, you guys always ask for studio vlogs. So some of you might find this enjoyable. It might lighten the mood in these times, whatever it is. So we're just doing it. And if this one completely tanks like the last video did, um, then maybe I'll take the hint. But right now I'm not going to. So... The plan to finish off this vlog is to do a bit of a haul because I thought you guys might enjoy that. So I got some, hilariously, some new painting supplies, which apparently none of you guys care about. Do let me know. I feel like I'm being like really rude and like bitter, but like, I don't think people really do considering how the reaction to the last video was. But if you do want more painting stuff, do let me know. Um, but yeah, so I got some new painting supplies and then I realized I had some like resin molds that I never really opened or looked at. I have some new findings and clay and stuff. So I thought I'd sort of end this video with a bit of a haul because even if you're not interested in the painting, I think this palette is like so aesthetically pleasing that I think you guys will care about it. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. I'm also planning on filming a video. I'm gonna be doing a video, I think I'm gonna title it like Confessions of an Enamel Pin Addict because I have a problem and that problem is that I buy things and buy pins and refused and refuse to like get them out of the packaging and put them on my, my boards, how I store them until I've taken a photo of them. Cause you know, I'm a content creator. <laughs> um, but um, I don't, <laughs> I don't take pictures of them. They sit in this basket, which has been like this, this full pretty much, I want to say for a year. Like I'm not even, not even kidding. This is always full of stuff. It's from loads of pin makers. I can't even remember what's in this basket. It's been so long, but I just have this like weird thing that I, uh, I keep packaging and stuff so I want to take a picture of it and I, d I really don't know but today we're going to be sorting through this and then finally getting them all onto the boards that I keep them on and I just thought that'd be quite a fun video for people who love enamel pins again god knows because it's not clay if anyone's going to watch it but it's going to make me very happy and it's a job I need to do so why not film it so that's what we're going to be doing and I have a crazy idea for the thumbnail where I'm going to be like surrounded by pins I'm like lying down and surrounded by pins so that also might be in this video but yeah that's what we're doing I'm going to stop rambling that's the update Oh, 
Oh, it's pretty hot. <laughs> 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 Come on. No. No, no, that's not gonna work. <sighs> not cute. Okay, like, my God, I literally spent more time on the thumbnail than the video. Like, I've just finished filming the video, which, uh, like, oh God, my hair, <laughs> so greasy. I'm sorry, guys. Um, But yeah, so these are the thumbnails took me so long but it looks like pretty freaking cute but I don't know whether I do like clickbait or whether I do like kind of cute but then I don't know whether you can see my hands like I think it looks a bit I think it looks a bit hard to see unless I give myself like a glow but then I'm like something's missing here unless I like add I could maybe like duplicate this and put it there but like mm, I kind of don't like my mouth in this one like why have I got no bottom teeth like why is it just like a lip but it's like but then there's also a gap here which drives me crazy so uh, I don't really know what to do let me know because I probably won't post this video for a few weeks so comment down below whether you think I should go for clickbaity or cutesy <laughs> but this was so hard to get my hair to sit like that and I'm also gonna have to get rid of this because that's not cute either but um I like it I actually really like it I think it's gonna be a really great picture um and I just had so much fun and I finished getting all of the pins and stuff on my boards and I'm about to count how many I have, which I'm gonna, I don't actually know right now how many I have, I have absolutely no idea. So I'm gonna put that in the video when it goes live. So that's probably gonna be like three videos away. I'm gonna upload this one, then I'm gonna do a clay video. I'm not sure what it is yet, either a tutorial or a, um, a remake. And then I'll probably put this one up. So yeah, I like that. I think that's really cool. So. Now I'm going to show you what I what the supplies because that's what I was meant to do for this vlog. I was meant to show you the supplies that I was working, that I was working on that I bought. So I'm going to do that now. So first thing I got loads of well not loads I got a few resin molds from AliExpress. So I got this really cute little heart shaped one which basically just has like a bunch of different like 3D hearts like oh, I don't really want to open it and get dust on it but like some of them are like puffy and then some of them have got like straight edges but there's loads of different ones like really really tiny ones large ones and I don't know I just thought that was I hadn't seen it before and I just love this tiny well I suppose it's not tiny but like this is a tiny version of the like puffy heart mold that everyone has so yeah I really love this one and then I got a giant sorry ASMR I got a giant like plate mold whenever I buy molds on Aliexpress I never um check the sizes so this bad boy came in it's like a whole damn plate so we'll see if I use this if not I will sell it on or give it away or something but yeah like a proper because I just love making the like trinket dishes which let's go on to that which by the way I get most of them from this um shop I actually found them on Instagram literally this morning and followed them they were following me but yeah I love them they always give freebies and pretty much most of my like trinket dish molds and stuff come from them so I'll leave their link in the description but these are these I've got two square ones and I've got two heart shaped ones these make um that's what I use to make these little trinket dishes which I absolutely love these ones and there's this one I really need to list these on my shop what <laughs> they've got started to get a little bit dusty because they need some loving um but yeah that's what they look like so yeah basically you can make a bunch of different obviously designs with these so I got loads just so I could make I think I've already got two or three no I've got two of each already I think so now I've got four so I can do like a big sorry there's loads of dust on these so I can do like a really big batch of them all at once basically so i got those as well and then i also got a bunch of little silicone cups but these ones oh these ones are shaped like hearts oh that's so cute they're like shaped like hearts and they're actually a bit sturdier than the ones i already have do i have them to show you no i don't the ones i have are actually really flimsy i'm really happy that these are so sturdy oh i really like that it makes pouring a lot easier but yeah the little heart shaped and there's one two three four five so yeah all from where's the little sticker yeah like i said all from this shop on um aliexpress i absolutely love them nice and cheap so yeah these are the little resin molds that i got so then for like the clay things this is not that exciting but i do have two blocks of clay i bought recently i've never seen this color before it's like perfectly matches my background it's not like the normal purple is this the normal 
yeah, you can see that's, yeah, so that's the normal lilac from the Fuma FX range that I obviously love and I use all the colours from. But it's slightly different. It's more of like a pinky, it's more of a saturated pinky purple. I just think it's absolutely gorgeous. This one's called Lavender, which to me, not really that lavender. But yeah, I got this one and I absolutely love it. I can't wait to use it on a cupcake. I think it's going to look really, really, really cute. So I got that one and then I got this gorgeous green. I don't really know why I got this one because... I don't really ever need a green this dark, but I I don't know. I just think it's the most gorgeous green colour. And I always have such trouble with green clay. They're either like solid or they're so soft I can't use them. Does anyone else find that with uh, green clay? Because I really struggle with green clay. But yeah, got those two blocks of clay. And then I got some findings, which are really exciting. So I actually got like pin backs. Speaking of pins. So yeah like the little so literally it's the back of the pin and then i got some clasps so you can literally put that in some clay so i don't really know what i'm gonna do with these but i thought what a fantastic idea make proper like proper pins you know so got those as well which is really exciting also i got these which are not pop sockets because i don't want to get sued but they are phone grips i think the, i think the community is now calling them so they're just like phone grips which to be fair i buy I bought these ages ago and I have had on my old phone before the beginning of this year I still had an iPhone 7 which had a pop socket on and had the same one on without it falling off or anything for about six years or so so when I got a new phone this January I literally already put one of these on so not gonna DIY all of them but yeah I just got these I thought like you could put resin on them clay on them I don't know I got some in different well white and black basically um, and then I got these what are these called silver plated i never know what these are called i think they're called like ribbon grips or something they're called like grips and they're basically like a little jaw let me get one out i don't know why i'm not just showing you them it's basically like a little jaw in a certain length and then you stick like ribbon in it and then you close it it basically makes little things like this like little wristlets which is super cute this is kind of a sneak peek of something i've been working on <laughs> i don't know whether i should be showing you this but anyway so yeah you can make little like grips and you can put like a keychain on it and stuff i really love these so i think i'm gonna have to get like a bunch of ribbon that fits on these because not all of them obviously it's a certain length and i only have a certain amount of ribbon so yeah another really exciting one i just want to be doing more whole projects again a bit of a sneaky peek there sorry i feel like this is really awkward i'm just like headless but this is the best way of you showing you guys this stuff so yeah so now onto the painting stuff so I think I already said at the beginning of this video that I got a pack of the really thin paintbrushes, which I love. I've actually used one of these for makeup this week, so I absolutely love these. Um, and then I got just a plain old palette. Um, by the way, I'm not just like buying loads of stuff. I'm trying to make sure that I'm not... Oh, this is not opening. I'm trying to make sure that given the situation, I'm not buying loads of supplies and stuff because I don't want to put a strain on anyone and have to make anyone go out and stuff. So like this was just like the first week of lockdown I went a bit crazy to give myself um stuff to do but yeah simple old palette which not much to say about that but it's a palette and then this is the this is the goods so okay you know what I think we're gonna we're gonna have to put me up for this okay this is the main event this she she chunky she a heavy girl but she's beautiful so quick explanation of why I bought this which was which was a little bit of a silly no it wasn't a silly purchase but considering I've only just started painting and I've done two paintings, I should not have bought a whole new palette. This was £40, I want to say. But before you have a heart attack, basically the explanation. So this is gouache. This is like halfway between watercolour and acrylic. And I was basically just looking at... I was basically just getting really into all of the painting YouTubers and watching loads of painting videos. And yes, it was kind of a... Um, spare of the moment purchase considering I've only done two paintings but because it's locked down I was like oh you know what just do it and also it's obviously absolutely gorgeous this pink color but yeah I was looking at like big sets of acrylic and they're really they're about the same price or they're more expensive and I watched a, a bunch of reviews on this this is like the famous jelly gouache um and loads of people said it's like a really good value for money like there is so much paint in here for the money that I wouldn't be able to find an acrylic set that would be the same value for money and i'm just really intrigued by gouache being able to use water with it the way that you can so basically i thought 
what the hell it's locked down so this is this is this is I, I, it's not opened yet i'll show you in a second when i open it all but it's basically called jelly gouache it's like really famous so you get like a little palette at the top which is actually quite funny um and it basically comes in these little like jello cup things it's i believe oh is that korean chinese oh i'm not sure it's called Hemi. 18 co colors Hemi. i don't really know if it's is that chinese not Japanese I feel like those characters aren't Japanese anyway all the colors come in these little like jelly cups and they are like jelly inside and it's just like the most gorgeous thing ever and obviously it's pink you can get it in mint and yellow and I think there's a blue one as well but it's basically just like a bunch a bunch of colors and you can you can say like I said you can mix them all together it's just like you know it's just like paint you can mix all the colors together um but it's just like it's the idea that they're like this jelly consistency and they and they might dry out but because you can like reactivate them with water it's kind of like fine so anyway i'm gonna open all of these i every video i've watched they've struggled so hard so i'm gonna do this over a mat so i don't completely destroy everything but the last shot of this video is going to be what this looks like when it's been opened because she's glorious actually you know what i'll say goodbye and i can put the clip over here so anyway i hope you've enjoyed this vlog it's all over the place i think and god knows whether any of you actually want to watch this kind of thing do let me know i'm always after feedback obviously do the people that ask for studio vlogs only want to see studio vlogs about clay or my shop or is this like just sort of what i'm getting up to and experimenting with um is that okay with you guys i just yeah i want to know i don't really know what you guys want to see for the people who actually watch my videos still but yeah i'm having a great time i hope you guys are all well and healthy and safe and keeping sane so i hope you enjoyed this vlog it's probably really long so i'm gonna stop rambling now i will see you in my next video which i promise is gonna be a clay video bye guys